Hi, welcome to the weekly psalm and prayer. I'm Pastor Michelle. I'm so happy you could be here today with me. This is a time for us to go through a psalm, to read it together, and then to have prayer time afterwards. It's a time for us to find that moment that in this week, a brief moment, where we can find peace in God, contemplate, and really center ourselves. So let's jump into it. So today is Psalm 5. And the title in my Bible, um, again, written ne not necessarily in the Bible, but it's a subheading, sometimes they're nice to read, is Trusting God for Deliverance from Enemies. And Psalm 5 is a prayer for help. And that is um, really important. This is literally, Psalm 5 is a prayer for help. It is the psalmist asking God for help. So let us read it. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Give heed to my sighing. Listen to the sound of my cry, my King and my God. For to you I pray. O Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I plead my case to you and watch. For you are not a God who delights in wickedness. Evil will not sojourn with you. The boastful will not stand before your eyes. You hate all evildoers. You destroy those who speak lies. The Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful. But I, through the abundance of your steadfast love, will enter your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness. Because of my enemies, Make your way straight before me. For there is no truth in their mouths, for their hearts are destruction. Their throats are open graves. They flatter with their tongues. Make them bear their guilt, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Because of their many transgression, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. Let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them so that those who love your name may exult in you. For you bless the righteous, O Lord. You cover them with favor as with a shield. The only little mo thing I want to point out that um, I read about was when it says in verse 3, O Lord, in the morning you hear my vo voice. In the morning I plead my case to you and watch. Morning, um, in the morning phrase, morning was a figure of speech for God's deliverance arriving like the sun, driving out the darkness. Uh, it's a very powerful psalm. I apologize for any noises. That's my cat. <laughs> Um, that really, really can um, call out to our hearts, help us give words to when we really just are feeling like we are alone and to, you know, sometimes when we pray for help, it's also prayer is a time for us to also realize that we aren't alone. It's like we're reminding ourselves of that, if you understand what I mean. You know, you go, oh, help me, God. Sometimes by just even saying those words, we ourselves center ourselves and realize, oh yeah, that's right. Don't forget, we're not alone. And you aren't alone. Um, God is with you. And God is okay listening to you crying for help and listening to you being angry and things like that. And that's what the Psalms really, one of the things it points us to. And to remind us like it does at the end, let all who take refuge in you, O Lord, let them ever sing for joy, spread your protection over them. So God is spreading his protection over you today. So let us pray. Oh Lord, you are our refuge and our strength. You help us find joy even in the midst of all this chaos of our world. Protect us, give us courage. Help us seek your truth, the truth that you show us in our world through a variety of ways. 
through science, through education, through conversations with our neighbors. Help us center on you, O Lord, and protect us from enemies outside of us who are causing chaos and anger and hate. And the enemies within, O Lord, our own self-doubt, our own self-loathing, our own asking and saying to ourselves that we are not worthy and we are not enough because, oh Lord, to you, you see us as enough. You show us mercy and grace and love and kindness. Help us to show that to ourselves and help us to let that expand beyond ourselves to our neighbors. Help us center in you, O Lord, always. Amen. Thank you for joining me for the weekly psalm and prayer, and I will see you again next week. May God bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. See you next week.